Hi guys, my name is Jason Bankert. I'm a 2016 graduate from Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, and I'm currently living in Altoona, PA, in a private practice in Altoona area, where I'm born and raised. And our practice is a large catchment area um, from Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, and surrounding areas. And I graduated in 2016. After LECOM, I did my residency in internal medicine at the Geisinger Medical Center in Danville, where I stayed there and did my fellowship in rheumatology at Geisinger as well, before coming back home and joining this private practice in Altoona, where I am currently a staff rheumatologist. So day to day, we see average 20 patients or so a day, depending on the day. Um, our Mondays and Thursdays are longer days, where we'll see anywhere up to 25 patients. Um, we see four to five new patients a day, um, and these patients range uh, from rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, and osteoarthritis, and vasculitis, and, uh, and from people from our surrounding community that we treat. So my undergrad degree was in immunology and infectious disease. So I knew I wanted to get into something immunologic, uh, the immune system. Um, I initially thought about getting into infectious disease, but then I found rheumatology, um, which one of my colleagues told me was like a gem of internal medicine. And then I fell in love with it just because of the immune system in, in rheumatology. And then uh, um, after Penn State, I came to LECOM, where I, I got my medical education, and they groomed me very well for clinical practice. One of the things is, uh, we always, or taught was seeing the whole patient as a whole and uh, mind, body, and spirit, which definitely a, a, a big thing in medicine. And my training at Early Combat definitely uh, trained me well for residency and then eventually fellowship and now in clinical practice for the same skills that I was taught and the same knowledge I was taught at Lee Combat I'm still using today. So one of the biggest things is exam. That's one of the other things to, to uh, uh, DO. Uh, osteopathic medicine is that the hands-on approach and especially in rheumatology you know the exam is uh, so important so during 2020 earlier on we actually did virtual medicine for a little bit and it was very hard to diagnose and treat people because we couldn't feel them and so having hands-on you know to feel the tissue texture changes feel the changes in the joints and the tissues is, is paramount rheumatoid uh, or rheumatology rather <laughs> I'd probably say anatomy and physiology, but uh, I, I still, uh, the anatomy it taught us very well. And even the things that uh, throughout residency and, uh, and training now, that, that anatomy background still sticks with me. In physiology, I love uh, learning how things work in internal and uh, internally. And, um, but when I say probably anatomy, more personal. Yeah. Um, one of the things I was proud of uh, during my third year of residency, I, I got the Compassion Award. Um, I'm very proud of too, and uh, you know, um, that's one of the things I strive to is to show compassion to our patients. And that's one of the things that was taught to us when we training at LECOM too, uh, um, was compassion. And a lot of the providers I trained with in medical school in my residency at showing compassion. So it's kind of like a, um, what they taught me, you know, expressing in my own clinical practice. Yeah, you know, it, it's my roots. So it was, uh, it was where I learned how to become the physician I am today. And so I wanted to help room future providers and future physicians and uh, to give them my wisdom along the way and things that, I, that was taught to me and then tips and tricks as they go along their future medicine paths. Yeah, and I just wanted to you know, thank LECOM for everything they did for me, you know, my family, I, the, the support I had here, the education I had here. Um, I wouldn't replace it anywhere else. Um, and I'm so thankful that I'm here. Um, you know, I want to thank, you know, it's my, my family, my parents, my wife, uh, Jamie, who, she came visit me when I was at LECOM. I would study all day, and she would sit, sit in my room waiting for me, and then we'd go out to dinner, and then, uh, and then I'd go back to studying. And, so, and she's been with me. I remember at graduation, they said, so like, the, the, the family should be recognized because they stuck by us through this hard journey, and, uh, and that's very true of my case, too. It was, it was a very hard journey where I, I wanted to give up multiple times. Um, but it was, you know, it definitely was, it was the grace of God too that kept me through as well. Where uh, and I wouldn't be here today, I was where I'm because I wanted to stop every every step of the way. I was like, you know, I'm done. I can do this, <laughs> even the first day. And, I, and here I am. <laughs>